photos photos are very important for your listing okay um, remember people are going to be searching online and most likely booking from the photos in your listing they're not going to come take a look at your rental so the better your photos are the more comfortable your guests will feel and the more chances they you will have of them booking with you okay so if you can afford it we recommend hiring a professional real estate photographer that can take HDR photos of your rental it's money well spent but if you can't just use the best camera that you have access Access to whether that's a traditional um, digital camera or you can use some of the new phones they take great pictures so once you got your pictures ready you need to log into your dashboard go to the edit listing option next to the listing you want to edit and go to the photos icon when you click on the photos icon it'll take you right to the photos tab in your listing now just to go over a couple things with regards to photos this particular subscription you can see here there's 18 of 24 so we've already got 18 photos uploaded our subscription allows 24 so we have six more that we can add now when you're adding your photos we tell you here the photo format preferred which is four by three that means it's wider than it is tall or horizontal or landscape photos they're better than tall photos but if you have tall photos you know portraits portrait orientation that's fine just we prefer the other size they display better the preferred size is also 1024 by 768 now if you have a bunch of photos that are really big you can go to a website that's called bulk size photos.com and this is that website here and this you can use to upload your photos and resize them all in bulk in just a couple clicks okay so that's a great resource to use um, but back here I've already resized my photos so now I need to choose them first and we have a button that says choose files so when I click on choose files it's going to open up my file explorer my browser to pick a photo I'm going to pick this one here so I highlight it and then I click on open now you'll notice that that is in the list now of the files that I've chosen I could go cho choose more files if I want to but for now we're just going to do this one now it's not been uploaded yet we need to click on this add photo button here when we click on that you see the please wait it's actually uploading the photo and the, depending upon the size and how many you're uploading it could be real quick like that or it could take some time now if you notice down here that new photo was added to the end of the list okay but maybe I don't want it at the end of the list if I want to reposition it I can click and drag it to the top of the list okay so just click on whatever photo you want and just drag it to the area that you want it to be in okay as far as the order this is your headline photo now I don't want the front of my house to be the headline photo I want the pool to be that so I'm gonna put the pool back up and I also noticed this one that I just uploaded I had uploaded before you see they're the same so to the delete a photo just click delete you'll get the pop-up window are you sure click OK and that photo will be gone okay so that's how you upload one photo now I have room for six more photos still so I'm gonna go ahead and pick six photos this time so choose files and this time I'm gonna pick uh, let's just pick the last four so I'm just holding down my shift key and picking each one of those photos and then I'm gonna click on open now you'll notice all four of those photos are in the list for the files that I've chose. There's four files chosen and I'm going to click on add add photos. And again, it's going to take a little longer this time because we've got four, but it's going to upload it. If you're trying this with too many pictures and it times out, that means your photo sizes are too big and you're trying to upload too many at a time. So if you if your photos aren't uploading select less photos okay maybe try just two or three or maybe four now you'll notice we got a success button down here and we are four new photos were added two here and two down here now one thing I noticed this photo is crooked this is one of those horizontal pictures that I talked about so if you click on the edit button under that photo it's going to open that photo up for you to be able to edit it to click on it again here and you'll notice the photo is sideways which is very common if you use a phone to take pictures of like a stairway like this it could be a vertical shot it could be sideways well how do you fix that you click on the edit button and then here you'll notice we have rotate so in this case we want to rotate it left or counterclockwise so I'm going to click on rotate and then I'm going to click on save now it'll automatically rotate the photo to the left okay now we have it the right way you can also crop your photos if you want to, um, you know, but we recommend you do all your photo editing before you upload them to us. But we do give you some basic tools. Now, what you see here is a title. 
okay you can give something uh, a photo with title which will show as a caption on that photo in your listing so in this case it's a staircase so I'm just gonna put that in for staircase and I'm gonna save and go back to list okay so we come back here again all those photos were added now you'll notice this photo still looks like it's sideways right if you click on edit you'll notice it's the right way and it is the right way this is a common um, question we get at support is that I'm changing the photo but it's it's not looking that way this is because your internet browser uses a thing called cache for images so it cached this image when it was sideways and now that we've updated we haven't refreshed our cache yet so once you refresh your cache then that photo will be straight up and down but rest assured what you see here under the edit button is what will be displayed in your listing so it will be straight up and down okay now we'll go back to the list of photos and again you can notice up here we've got 22 or 24 so we can add two more photos if we want so that's a quick tutorial on photos um, it's pretty simple and again if you don't like the order that they're in move them around our suggestion is to put your best amenities first okay and then walk people through your house walk them through showing them your kitchen your living areas then show them each bedroom and then show them you know your bathrooms and your your other photos towards the end okay so you know they want to see your best amenities first to get you the most amount of leads all right so we hope that helps you with your photos